I'm going to demonstrate the contingency plan modeling capabilities in the Inmatos tool now, starting with a very simple example. This particular example has got one main state up at the top left here. This one is called failures. This is a state from which we're going to simulate the generation of some kind of failures uh, for some kind of IT service. The three failures we've already preceded it with are a network failures uh, that the service that we're testing has stopped and finally that a disk failed. And these are modeled to occur at one time unit, two time units and five time units. So they should occur in sequence. We're going to see what happens when we actually run the simulation. I'm going to step through it one step at a time and then run it once through before moving on to a more complex example. First step, you'll notice that the one token, the network uh, failure, has actually moved through this first test down to the state over here. This is a red state, it's a fail state. So this first test tests whether we can access the service or not. And if it fails it goes down to that and if it passes it comes up to fixes. So once all failures have been repaired, the token should all appear here in fixes. So this token you can see can now move down and we can check whether uh, the network is accessible. As you can see, this model has only two checks. Is the service itself accessible? And if not, is the reason because the network is not accessible. So let's fire the next one. Bang! And we'll see that it failed the network t check as well. That's not surprising considering that the failure we're modeling in this case is a network failure. So it did not pass a network check. So we're going to move on to a repair action here, which is to repair the network. So let's repair the network. Boom! And the token has been moved back up to the starting position. This time it says fixed network off instead of just network off. So it has been repaired. And you can see that it is set to fire uh, in the future after the other two. And the reason for that is that the repair network action, if we move it out here, you'll be able to see it more clearly. The repair network action adds five time units to the uh, token. And that's because we've modeled repairing networks as taking five time units long to, to actually achieve. So the next thing that we can do is run the next uh, the next uh, simulation. Let's move it on. All right, server stopped, failed the access, but passed the network check. So we'll move on to repair a server instead of repairing the network. And we've repaired the server. Let's move on again. Disk failure now. It also requires repairing a server and it comes up here. Now you notice we didn't use this help state over here. If we continued to model this more complicated thing here, we might have decided on a point where we would ask for external help and fix it in a way that is not modeled by the actual contingency plan at the bottom. I will show you that in the next demonstration. But for this demonstration, let's just move that one a little bit out of the way and watch what these now fixed states do when we check if we can access the server. This time when we check if we can access the server, we will be able to, and so we can move on to fixes. And there we go, simulation complete. I'm going to reset this and run it as an animation. You see everything's firing, the tokens are moving through. All failures are fixed. Now, how did that work? Take a look at the server access. It decides if we can access the server or not based on whether or not the reported problem has been fixed. It just simply checks inside the uh, token whether the word fixed is there. If it is, it says we fixed. So this is a simple simulation model. If we look at the network access, we pass network, check if the token does not contain the word network in it. Very, very simple. How does the repair action work? If we look up here, it prefixes the token with the 
text fixed. <laughs> so of course, then the next check here will pass. What about the repair server? Well, repair server here also prefixes with fixed. So these are very. This is a very simple model for simulating uh, some simple decision logic. Let's look at a more complicated model. This one is not only going to do two checks, it's going to do six. Can we access the service? Can we access the server behind that server, actually providing the service? Is the database running? Can we start the database? Is the disk OK? Can we access the network? The repairs that will be performed would be, can we, will, will, we will repair the network, we will repair the actual server, the machine, we will repair a disk, we will restore a backup, and we will restart the database. So I could go through all of the different steps, but really it's just an extension of what we saw before. The we In this case, we are using that help state, that external support required state. Uh, if we get to the database running check, so we've checked other things and we find that the database is running. So we generated an error, but we don't know why, because as far as we can tell, the database is running then we must ask for external support. So this is just a catch-all for things we haven't been able to model. Otherwise, everything else here is an extension of exactly what you saw before. But there is another change. We've chained some of the fixes. So if we repair a network, we don't chain. We move directly back to the original state and we, we recheck because we weren't able to learn anything more about the problem by repairing uh, if there was a network problem. However, if there was a server problem, we have to follow it up by the restore backup and restart the database. That's not a surprise. If the disk failed, we have to repair the disk and restore the backup and restart the database. We have this chaining effect. In the next video, I will explain the uh, syntax for how we build these models. And you'll see that there is an implicit chaining both between the sequence of checks we make as well as the sequence of repairs that we can perform. Let's run the simulation. All right, there goes the token for the network check, and it's through. Here comes a token for the next error. The server stopped, chump, and it was restart the database. And the next token, disk failure, comes up here. It should get all the way down to the failure. Bang, and we repair the disk. And before the disk gets repaired, we start the next, the passing the repair through. Okay, there we go. All of them are through. The database is fully repaired. And one of them, the unknown one, actually went through the support required. 